Hey guys, welcome to Dread Vault again. This is Tolga Ser. Today we will talk about this American standard Stratocaster. I think there is nothing to say about a Stratocaster, especially a US made American Stratocaster. Because, you know, it's a definer guitar. It's one of the pioneers of the industry and also the Fender brand has the same value about the industry. The main reason of this video is, I believe every guitar player should have at least one Stratocaster in their armory, in their arsenal or any other cool metal world, in inventory. <laughs> and I know if a guitarist is into Stratocasters, they would probably purchase 10 or 20 different Stratocasters with different specifications. But you know me, I'm a metal enthusiast and my guitar serves to the metal, serves to the high gain tones most of the time. However, this guitar is my to-go Stratocaster because of its specifications, because of the cream whitish color, because of the maple neck. And it's not my guitar actually, again. At this point, I want to thank all of my friends because they provide lots of equipments, lots of guitars to me. At the beginning of this channel nearly two or three months ago I was worrying about finding guitars after my 12-13 guitars and I still couldn't find time to shoot lots of my guitars because of my friends. Currently I have two different Stratocasters which is my Ballastrat, my first guitar and there's an S6 Vintage Series Stratocaster 2 and I want to shoot the video during investigating this guitar because because I didn't play that guitar that much since it came to me and I just want to talk about its specifications and check the craftsmanship and then I'm gonna play the guitar. First of all let's check the specifications. Actually most of the time trying to finding the proper specification information about guitar is a hustle for me. But thanks to Fender, they created an amazing database for their guitars. And I find the specifications directly from the Fender's website. And let's see what we have in here. We have an older body, body shape Stratocaster, wow. The color is Olympic white actually. But I believe because of the sun, it turned into a yellowish creamy color. By the way, it, the guitar was made in 2011. So I think after 12 years, the color change is understandable because, because the same thing happened on the finish of my Jackson KV2 Snow White 2. So we have an alder body and the maple neck, obviously. I don't have to check the website <laughs> for that too. Yeah, we have custom shop fat 50s single coil Stratocaster pickups. To sum up, we have alder body, maple neck, urethane finish on the body and we have custom shop fat 50 single coil pickups on both positions we have two point synchronized tremolo we have bolt on configuration obviously the guitar made in corona california do we have any other fender factory in united states i don't know but that's the simple specifications of the guitar. So, about the craftsmanship, I think the paint is really good. How can I say? Actually, most of the time, I'm trying to check the reflections on a guitar because if the finish is bad, you will see some orange peel-like textures on the paint, actually on the reflection. So, if you can see the light source or the any other reflection on a guitar without much of a texture, you can say, we have a good paint on the guitar, but about Stratocasters, there are lots of different chemicals like nitro paints or urethane. They say it creates a difference on the sound or for the relic finish, the relic look. You have to use proper chemicals, proper type of polish or paint, but I don't have that much information about those stuff, but still it looks nice. It looks amazing. About the frets. I can feel the edges of frets just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of crowning can be good for that guitar. It's sad, it's always sad to see something like that on a US made guitar. But maybe I'm too familiar with the next width binding and because of that it feels weird but it cuts my hand, it cuts my finger, I can feel it. 
still it's not that bad it's not that bad it's not like a budget guitar it's not like a it's not like an import guitar so i can say it's good we have a little bit of problem about the tremolo in here but it's not about the guitar it's about the string and the tension and the lack of maintenance of this guitar but i will take care of it but i checked the intonation of the guitar before shooting that video so I don't think it creates much of a difference. What can I say? It's a standard US made Stratocaster. About my preferences, it's my to go Stratocaster. It's my to go specifications. Just because Malmsteen, actually, I know it's not a scalloped Malmsteen signature. Actually, I don't like the scalloped stuff that much. But because of the color and the maple, it reminds me the Malmsteen. It's cool. I'm not the biggest fan of him but he's a valuable guitar player for me more than lots of different guitar gods besides his <laughs> current controversies but it's not the topic of the video so let's skip that too today i will use more p10 air wireless transmitters for the connection to the audio interface i made a small comparison with my cables and i'm gonna shoot a comparison video with lots of different cables and a different more wireless transmitter in detail but i can say it won't create a change in the sound also this video is not about the tone i just want to make a demonstration by the way is it the right one it's the transmitter which goes to the guitar and we will connect that to the audio interface so before starting to play the guitar i want to announce something i'm starting to a new series which is called worth it it's a simple cheap versus expensive based video series actually nothing new for youtube and for you guys i know that but we won't just talk about this is cheap this is expensive however this is good this is bad i will talk about the possible requirements how we can respond to that requirements we will try to observe after which point the money that will spend will become useless or serve to the fantasy instead of the actual needs i'm gonna start with a american stratocaster versus a chinese bullet strat and also we will put an s6 into that comparison too and i want to start to that series with a stratocaster after that we will make a huge king v comparison obviously when i'm talking about king v's i'm talking about jackson i know there are lots of different v's but they are not king v's so let's hear that guitar so instead of my usual rig in this video i'm gonna use neural dsp archetype petrucci there's a preset which is called neck crystal clean on the default preset and i think it sounds nice and you can kind of compare the sound if you have the same plugin so let's hear the bridge pickup first <laughs> Yeah, it's not clipping, it's okay. jump to the middle pickup I will check the dual configurations next Thank you. 
can hear the fatness that comes with the middle pickup in the sound. It's really visible and it's really clear. And let's check the neck. And I think it lost its aggressiveness, its unique aggressiveness in the neck pickup. It's too bouncy, too round, I think. But you can hear it on the middle. And there's much more of it in the bridge pickup. Still, it can. Which is really tricky. I always bump my hand into it. Let's check the dual pickup configurations. In the second position we have the bridge and the middle. feels too shallow, too empty. I would go with the middle pickup directly instead of using the bridge or the second position, which is a blend of these two. And let's check the fourth position. I made a decision if I would purchase this guitar, I would remove the single pickup, I would put an EMG 81 or Seymour Duncan Blackout Active Humbucker actually, not a JB or not something like that. And I would go metal on the bridge position and also I would put a three-way toggle switch, three or blade switch, it's not about the shape of it. And there would be an EMG 81 middle and there's a blend, it would be my decision it would be my specification my customization and i think the good thing about stratocaster is you can get what you need it serves lots of different tones and i understand the people who who love stratocaster because you can get lots of different stuff with it you can go metal with it actually and let's go metal with it before closing the video for the metal i'm gonna use the brutality preset and you can hear the noise of a single coil. Let's use the gate. You can get the air push with a single coil and and that's the main reason why i would put a emg81 on it anyway 
This was the Fender USA Standard Stratocaster from the eyes and the hands of a metal guy. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the future contents. Also, your liking helps a lot to the growth of that channel. Till the next video, see ya.